<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She just had to be in it today. <laughs> Didn't you, Sarah? Yeah? No? But you're here. You've been disturbing. Hello? <laughs> I'm saying to somebody, change your mind. Change your mind. There is a revelation the Lord has given you, a place he needs you to be. This is to, for two, two persons. The first one is about where God has sent you to. He told you to leave your job, you left, and he told you to go to another country, right? There's provision for you to go, but you are still considering factors um, around you, like your environment, you know, what you're, what you're used to, or, or maybe family members, right? And the Lord is saying for you to change your mind because the decision you are making not to go is very costly, right? You are hindering yourself. You're hindering your destiny and then you're preventing the Lord from getting the glory that is due unto him. The Lord is saying for you to change your mind. Don't be like the people of the world, the ones who are re completely refusing to repent. Turn. Change your mind and go to where the Lord is sending you to so that you can fulfill that assignment that he wants to give to you. Understand that if you don't change your mind and go, God is going to raise up another man or another woman to fulfill that uh, calling to, you know, do what you have refused to do and you're missing out. So don't because of fear or timidity, you know, um, don't let that stop you. Don't let anything stop you from moving, you know, um, towards where the Lord is calling you into. Now, the second thing is, for some of you, the Lord has revealed your kingdom spouses. But you're second guessing. You are second guessing seriously. And this is mainly mainly for marriage restoration too. God has clearly stated that he's restoring your marriage. Your spouse has tried to contact you. You're refusing to be in, in uh, you know, like, uh, sorry. You're, you're, you're refusing to uh, accept their calls or messages. You're holding grudges in your heart. And, and the Lord wants to make you an intercessor. And it says you change your mind, right? Change your mind and work with him. Work with the Lord. Amen. The Lord wants to use you to bring this, to draw this person closer unto him so that he can begin restoring your marriage and perfect the restoration of your marriage. So change your mind and answer his calls and, and uh, reply to the messages humbly. Amen. Do what the Lord wants you to do, child of God. May God bless you and give you all grace to obey him and live for him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. See you all very soon. Subscribe if you're new. We love you. Take care.